Mobad's father is aggravated because he bought a property in his son's name, Liam's name. This is actress Iyaba Ojo. Guys, please do not forget to subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up, comment and share. And please do click on that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you. see the hot on news media. In an interview with Adi Freeze, Iyabo Ojo had this to say about Mobad's father, Wumi, Mobad's wife, and his son. From what I could see from the interview, though Iyabo didn't want to really elaborate on it, but someone that really is wise, really reading between the line, that the father is most aggravated because Mobad bought a property in his son's name. Like, buying property in your child's name is not a big deal. Like, majority of parents, they do that. Like, I don't see what what the problem is so i don't know why he's aggravated about it and the surprising thing is that from what yabo just said that wumi told her that she and mobad's father they were once close that after she gave birth that they started having issues now wow this life not balanced so to me the reason why there's just problem is the issue of property money that's why there's problem because how can someone that liked her before all of a sudden doesn't like her because she has given birth and maybe all the attention is going to her like the man is fully entitled first of all if a parent give birth to a child is their responsibility to train the child they should not see it as like is a burden or something you gave birth to that child before you gave birth to that child you know they are going to be responsibility so why are you making it seem like as if you did one very big favor because that's your duty as a parent that's just the bitter truth this is the duty of parents to bring up their children that's just the truth so it's so unfortunate that the son is late and maybe could not do as much for the father as he would have done. So that does not mean that they should be dragging for property. Even right from day one, the first time that they laid Mobad to rest, they were already dragging for property. That's not nice now. Property, we'll leave it behind. We are not taking it to wherever we are going to at the end of the day. We will not take it. Let me allow you to watch the video, Jerry, and conclude for yourself. Make your own conclusion. Because me, I've already made mine. So, Kini, updates. I spoke to um, the PRO, um, Benjamin, mm. um, and um, he said they are still waiting for the autopsy result. It's been done. Um, the autopsy was being handed over to Ikeja General Hospital. So they okay. did the first one, which is the prelim. Uh, Premin how do you pronounce that in now? Master family. Preliminary <laughs> the premin reports. Preliminary ah. whatever. So the other <laughs> the other one, which is the toxicology results, I they don't do it in Nigeria. And then that has to take like um a few weeks for it to be ready. It takes between four to six weeks. So the police people said um they even asked for the first result. But the hospital refused to give it, saying that they have to wait for the second result to come so that they can submit everything, you know, that they have on ground. And that is what they are also waiting on. That was why they uh, transferred the case, the CP transferred the case to the DPP so that they can also look into the case while they wait for the final um, autopsy result, oh. you know. And... So I think also probably reason why his body has also not been given back is because they want the result to come. The family they might decide tomorrow to say they want to do another private um, autopsy or whatever it is. So I think they're just waiting to do things the right way and not having to rush. Mm. Now I want to ask you your opinion because we've been discussing opinions here. Uh, we are trying to look at the situation uh, Shena Naira Mali, Shena Di Papa, Shena Di Pekin, Shena Di Mama, Shena... You understand? We're trying to look at this because, to be very honest, the police, in as much as I appreciate what they've been doing, they're not really carrying us along. And this is such an emotional case. What are your thoughts from your understanding of the case? What do you think led to his demise okay. so i think because you know the way we cried out for justice they really have to be careful because i mean everyone is involved everyone is part of this and this case 
cannot be swept under the carpet. Mm. And I think that they are just trying to do the right, the right, right thing, which is first waiting for the result to come out. Mm. That's my own, because I, I speak with them all the time. They're waiting for the results to come out so that they can, you know, I think when, when it comes out, obviously there's a um, corona inquest going on, on this case already, you know, and while that is going on, they are waiting for the results. So there's really nothing they can do for now until that result comes out. The first thing that they did after they learned about the first um, autopsy was the people directly involved with him when he on there mm. were reason why, why was why was the nurse called for him to get an injection or treatment right it's because he had an injury which was caused by they said a friend that he had an issue with um the friend has been um, called upon and he's with them right now in custody so the nurse also who gave him that injection is also with them right now um, the videos that were trending about Sam Larry uh, um, and all that is the reason why Sam Larry is also being seen as a suspect oh. now Mali because it's the name was called several times, and they, they already had written a petition stating that uh, um, Sam Larry was working, was of Naira Mali. So this, these are all the allegations that they have right now that they are working with. Until uh. you know, the autopsy result comes out fully, they really cannot, I, um, how will I put it, they really cannot... We really can't pin anything on anybody now. Everything is just allegations, allegations, allegations. The only person right now that I think they are holding as maybe the number one right now is the nurse that gave him an injection. Do you understand? Because that was what led to him foaming and whatever it is that happened to him. So until we get a clearer picture of exactly what caused his was it an infection? Was it an overdose? Was it a heart failure? I mean, what really happened? So until we get that, we really cannot say for sure who actually was the curse or reason why he's late today. Uh, so my own uh, my my own take is just like we all everybody has different ideas on how they uh painting the pictures. And I don't blame Nigerians if they don't believe in the police because of I mean, it's Nigeria. All these things happen. You understand? <laughs> when the police gets bribed and all that and all that. So I know all these issues happen in Nigeria. And because of, I mean, a lot of cases that we have seen, Nigerians tend to want to not believe in the police and in their system. But at the same time, we can't take laws into our hands. We need to wait and, you know, look into this matter very well. Because what exactly is the problem? I asked his family, close, I mean, that were with him, which was his wife and other um, friends, was he taking anything? They said no. Did he take anything on that day, alcohol, whatever it is? They said no. But we cannot base our judgment based on what they have said. We can only base our judgment on when the autopsy result is being released to know if actually whatever it is that must have happened to him so anything we say now is just speculation until we actually get the results and we know exactly what the result has said is wrong with him now that's my own way okay. of looking at it now there seems to be so much emanating from the camp of the dad versus the camp of the wife i mm. don't know if you saw into that particular narrative it seems mm. like the dad and the wife are not really getting along were you able to speak to the wife one-on-one -on -one? were you able to speak to the dad one-on-one -on -one? ah that is crazy <laughs> i see, i really don't want to talk about their family issue mm. i wouldn't lie because my own 
concentration is just based on Mubad getting justice, you know, and whoever it is that has done it, whether it's the wife or the father or the friend or whoever it is, you know, should just, I mean, um, be um, punished for whatever it is they have done wrong. And that is just my own take. So, uh, but to be honest, <laughs> um, I have spoken to the wife. I have spoken to Mubad's mom and Mubad's dad also called me up and told me some things. And from what Mubad's um, dad said, I know there's an issue going on between the dad and the wife's family. Huh. Do you understand? There's an issue going on because they called me and said um, um, he wanted me to first say thank you to everyone for everyone who has supported he heard about the fact that we went to get um to check out a place where mobad can lay to rest and um he's really happy that we went to do that his son told him because i actually called before going i called the mom the dad and i also i also called all of them he gave permission so the, he was calling me back to return you to say thank you i saw that you guys went and everything but his own concern now and his and his pain now is that um he would like me to ask uh mobad's wife's mother some questions oh. you know and i was like what are the questions and he laid the questions on the table which are personal family questions and most of it is um based on property and money you know so and one of it was like he was he, he said to me i bought my own property um with, with my name so why would mobad buy a property on his son's name oh, don't so i think the that the property that is, is in mobad's son's name yeah he said yeah there's a property Not that's mobad bought. Name. no 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 the son son but what we are hearing yeah but thank you for bringing clarity what we are hearing you know we now second hand gist we did buy now but bend down select gist like but they say mobad wife yeah mama nine they buy they ain't hold the document of mobad property that, that's what we heard from the streets so if mobad bought the property in his son's name i swear to god i don't a problem i'm sorry you i don't see a problem i don't see a problem too because my my properties mostly i put pesos and priscilla you know so but everybody is different you understand everybody is different so i can't fault more bad for buying a property in his son's oh, name you know right. and yeah when when i heard that when he said that i didn't argue with him because you know he, they, are, they are all grieving so me i don't argue when he just told me anything i said okay and it took me a while to even call um uh mobad's wife you know i just like for two three days i was pondering on the question because there were a lot of heavy um questions allegations that he laid i can see that he already has said it is already on social media as i then he was not on social media he told me but i was like how am i even going to put this on down because i was very careful i didn't want to get in between do you understand in between the the um family issues that they had you know but eventually i called her up and i said i need to speak to your mom you know and then mom was there and the she was there the sister was there and i just said this is what your father-in-law is saying you know and i told her this is what this person is saying no the sister was there with mubad's wife when i called mubad's wife so i just said this is what this is this is this is what is saying and i think you guys should call a family meeting you know i don't oh. think because for me it's all about justice for mobad all these property property fights that wants to go on you know it's not even as i then it's not even a month when this book, do you understand so i to me i just felt like irritated by all these property issues that they want to start having now so i think it's their family issue and they should find a way to sit down and sort this thing out you know and Mubaz's wife was, you know, she was crying. She was saying, ah, she's going through a lot. She's stressed. She's, nah. 
she'll tell her mom, you know, she doesn't know why he's having issues with her, da, 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 you know, and I was like, have you guys been having issues before? She now said, no, that they were very close before, you know, even there was a time, I think maybe when she was pregnant or when she was looking for pregnancy, I can't remember which of the two, you know, that he even took her to the mountain to pray, they are close, but it was after she had a child that they now started having issues, you understand, something about, I don't want to mention it, I think it's for her to explain when she comes and talk. So, you know, she said a whole lot of things that was going on between them. So I just, me, I just gave my own advice that, if these things are going on like this, I think what you should do is probably tell your mom, you know, maybe you guys can get the elders, have a family meeting, and let them lay everything on the table. You know, but oh. I I had to reconfirm. Is it true Mubad bought a property in his son's name? And she said, yes, that he bought a property in his son's name. I said, okay. The house, apart from that property, is there any other property again that is causing issues? She said, no. Nah. The other property is the one that that's um, where they buried Mubad oh. initially. Yes, and you know that's with the dad. And uh, I asked if the house they were staying if is if I mean is owned by Mubad. She said no, that is rented. I think she said they moved in there April, you know, this year. So, and I was like, okay, so is that is that the proper proper uh, the only property that is causing issues? She said that. I said okay. So what about the money allegations that she said um, when he's sleeping that she um, transfers money from his account to the mom's account and she was like um, I think the sister picked it up the sister picked up the phone and uh, collected the phone and said you know what whenever he's ready they can go to the bank print out bank statements at least if if a money was transferred from um, Mubad's account to the mom to uh, Mubad's wife's mom's account right at least the bank evidence will show all that. So I said, okay, these are things that they need to sit down and sort out between them because as far as I'm concerned, it's a family problem. It's not oh. going to help in Let's read people's reaction in the comment section. The family staff are not about justice for mobile, not justice for property they want. All we want is justice for mobile. That's it and that's all. All these other things are family issues that should be sorted out within the family. Some families are when well, property is paying them past the passing of their own blood that bad harbor. But who asked Yabo to be giving all this information? And she allowed to he trained him picking and so now me one train mobad before so because he trained Pekin when he bring come war then he has to be entitled now Pekin they inherit papa wealth and Liam is obviously the next of king make mobad papa go plan him retirement because nobody owns him s h i t honestly she's right the way he always talks about properties is what makes most people see him as bad families in general should understand that once a man slash woman is married automatically they have started their own family so whatever they do with their money slash property is none of their business you should be concerned about your son or daughter's well-being be happy for them pray for them wish them best of luck wish them healthy marriages rather than dragging fighting over their property i believe a man should buy his property in his children name same with the wife my mother my father my mother-in-law and my father-in-law have all lived their life allow the young ones to experience what it feels like to be married at their youthful ages when they come to you for advice ensure you give them the positive ones allow them raise their kids themselves don't forget stay away from their properties it's not yours mobat father all he cares about is property shame to him thank you for watching my video please do not forget to like subscribe share and hit the notification bell and please Please do kindly leave your comments in the comment section below.